Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Moyo Moyoki and today I have for you a tutorial on how to lay your wig frontal. And if you haven't watched my last video on the makeup I did on her, please check it out. The link will be at the top right corner of this video. So I'm going to start by securing the wig very tightly on her hair and parking the excess hair towards the back. So I'm going to remove, like lift up the front hair and apply the got to be glue on it and then place it around the perimeters of our hair where I want it to be. After that, I'm going to be taking a hand dryer after it is secured to do that. Just make sure it's secured properly because wherever the wig should dry up, that's where it will be. So I'm using a hand dryer to secure it properly and to dry her hair. So to dry the glue along with it and then everything sticks. And yeah, I first divided the wig frontal into like four sides before I cut each part, each segment one by one. I think I didn't film that. So yeah, I'm going to cut it to each segment one by one. If you go in all at once, you might make a mistake. So it's always better to go in little by little just so you'll be able to make a perfect cut and yes no mistakes because once you mess up your front towel you mess up your wig as well so that is what i'm trying to do here and yeah self-explanatory basically you guys should just avoid cutting off the parts that you will need because that way you just end up destroying the wig and no one wants to destroy his or her wigs yeah yeah so basically just cut it off Take your time to do this step and then i'm drying it in again because the edge of her hair lifted up a little bit so i'm drying it again so it can stick after i'm done i want to make side parts with this hair so i'm cutting out the parts i want to lay to the side i know i'm just making i'm just using tautology so just bear with me yes and then i'm just parting my hair by the side and trying to secure it so first i will obviously make a very straight line i don't know you can make some people like their parts like a little bit scattered is up to you just do whatever you want with your hair but then this is how i lay a frontal wig so and then i'm going to also continue by cutting off the edges the edge of the frontal as well so after i cut off the parts i want to serve as the edge i'm going to trim it off just so i can go back to lay it and it won't be so thick as an edge if you understand yeah so i i don't know i think i have a thing for wasting time so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and like this video too because you're going to learn from it uh what else share if you need if you see a friend that needs it please share this video and i'm going to have more videos for you coming to be sure to stay tuned as well so now i'm just going to spray okay so this spray here i'm pretty sure it's expired i don't know like my mom had it for a very long time and when i was like in her room i saw it so i decided to take it yeah so it what it basically does is that it glues your hair it's almost like they got to be spray but I don't know for a reason this one doesn't give like that freezy after stuff with it i don't know what glue is i just saw it when i took it yes yeah so now i'm using a straightener to straighten her hair because i want it to be as straight as possible because that is it is a straight wig so obviously it should be straight but then if you want to coil it your preference as well yes so i'm not inducing any system or frontal lane to anybody just follow the steps and then do your own thing you can always do your own by little additions and stuff you know make it your making your stuff making your own style making your brand making your you know your stuff make it you so yeah i'm just basically going to be straightening it section by section and yes getting everything in and just as straight as possible i'm not doing any like tonguing with it just straight basically and then after i went in with the got to be spray because i didn't really like the fact that that one couldn't hold so much hair so i'm just going to go in i just went in with the got to be spray and then i just sprayed around her hair 
the perimeters as well if you notice i'm kind of lifting up the front part of her hair because i want that front part to have like a hump so it will fall down it will fall down looking full i don't know if you understand but then i'm going to hold up the front part so i'm going to like spray the got to be spray around that so it will just come up a little bit instead of just laying flat on her hair because yeah, I need a little bit of spice, you know. It's side pattern and side usually comes up before it, you know, before it goes down. If you understand. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I'm very bad at explaining this. I don't know. So after I sprayed the got to be spray, I went in with my hair dryer and I'm trying to dry it to dry. I'm just saying a lot of things that I hope you guys understand. But then if you watch it, you'll actually understand because please mute me if you can't understand what i'm saying and just watch it i'm pretty sure you understand the steps better than what i'm saying but yeah if you like my voice you can just keep on listening to me as well thank you for staying so we move on just spray it everywhere everywhere make sure it's laid flat yeah just keep on laying it make sure like don't rush take your time to do this because you want it to come out as good looking as possible you don't want to waste to i don't you don't want to spend less time and then regret what you have just take your time especially if you're a first timer in this laying your frontal game business because nobody wants to visit the salon during corona so take your time boo. and yeah i'm trimming off the edge side as i said earlier just to make it a little bit better for me to lay the edges and yeah that's basically what i'm doing so yeah also take your time to lay your edges if you don't know how to lay your edges and if you want a tutorial on how to lay edges let me know as well i'll try to make that but you should be expecting it in like two or three months time if you say you want a tutorial because <laughs> yeah that's just who i am this video has been ready for god knows how long and i've still not uploaded it but it is what it is i just hope you learn from it as well just your edges the way you want it to be if you don't want edges then fine go with your hair but you know edges has a way of like bringing out the beauty in your frontal or even in your original hair i don't know it just gives this like pew 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 to you it's just sexy it's just fine it's just good you know yeah just do your thing just take your time and yeah look good at the end of the day because you have to look good for yourself before you look good for another person uh, i'm practically talking too much because i don't know i'm actually bored and i'm looking for a way to waste time so this voiceover is the best thing for me now after i'm done i dry the edges because i don't want it to come out of the head and yes i sprayed a little bit of got to be yeah, blah, blah. got to be spray too and then i also dry that out because why not just do you boo? and yes everything will just set in better that way and it won't fall off and yes if the wind wants to blow the hair then it will blow the tip of the hair and not the actual head on top if you get me so because of my lack of what's the name hot comb yeah i decided to use my straightener sides while hot to hold the hair because yeah it is what it is and then after if you have a silk scarf please go for a silk scarf but if not please go for what you have if you have a scarf if you have a bandana in fact if you have cap and you know how to use it do whatever you want to do just make sure you press the hair down and then because of i didn't keep the original clip i just I decided to record this for my YouTube video, so yes, I'm going to be using my powder around the hairline because I want it to go in like to be in sync with her face and around the parts of the lace frontal that are also showing. And trust me, you love this look at the end of the day, so this is the finished look. And please, if you haven't seen this makeup tutorial, please go and watch it. What are you waiting for? Okay, thank you very much. I also put the link as well so just look at this beauty look at this hair it just turned out so nice and i was meant to publish it on tuesday but me being lazy i'm going to publish it on thursday yeah whatever i'm just doing this voice note on tuesday so you can imagine so bye love you bye bye